So hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Uh, we In this tutorial, we're going to be creating a simple political poster that you can use for your branding needs. And in this case, we're going to be using a simple write-up that we have. We have an aspirant by the name of Nick Samal. He won, is vying for a particular seat in the, the member of the House of Representatives. And we're going to be trying to create a very simple poster for him. Uh, so the first thing that you need to do, we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator to, to create this poster. It's going to be a nice tutorial and follow along as we create something transitive and very nice when you that you can use for any political ambitions or political branding. So the first thing that we need to do, we're going to be using some files that we're going to be having and we're still going to attach a link with the files that you're going to be using for this the whole design. It's something that you can use even in the course of your design. So the, the first thing you're going to have is an image. This is the image you're going to be using to create. So this is Nick. This is just an image we picked from freepick.com uh, so that we can be able to create this tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to our desktop. We go navigate to our desktop. And uh, after we go to our desktop, let, let me close up some of these things. We go to our desktop and we are going to close this. So we're going to create a new folder. We're going to name it Nick's Poster. And then we're going to first name it. I'm uh, going to give Adobe Illustrator project file. And uh, in this, we're going to first create, uh, we, this is where we're going to save our Adobe Illustrator project file. So first thing we need to do, we're going to go and open uh, Adobe Photoshop. So currently using the, uh, the latest version of Photoshop, uh, not really the latest, but an advanced version that is Adobe Photoshop CC 2020. And then we're going to go, we're going to open next image. So we're going to go to the images. So if uh, you, what you do, if uh, you open the link that you've attached on the, the description, you're going to fi find an, uh, an image, man happy expression, if you prefer to use this image. At the same time, you can go to freepick.com and get very nice images for your design. So we're going to drag this image. We're going to drag it to Photoshop. You can always go to file and open if you want to open an image on Photoshop. Or you can use the shortcuts Control and O to open a file on Photoshop. So one th what you're going to do is that we, we don't really want uh, this uh, white background in Photoshop uh, in for our design. So we're going to do away with it. It's a very nice image, as you can see. The detail is quite uh, quite uh, very nice and uh, it's appealing generally. So what you're going to do, we're going to be trying to do away with this white background. There are various ways you can do that. You can use the magic eraser. The magic eraser is on on your left hand side on your toolbar and you can select you can always click on e or you can type e on your keyboard and it takes you directly to the eraser there are, there are three types of erasers is the eraser tool the background eraser tool and the magic eraser tool you can pick the magic eraser tool have your tolerance at around a uh, 70 to 100 click on the image and you directly remove the background image at uh, the background color so we've done away with the white background color maybe another thing that we can do is that we can come to you can just come click on our image right now it's locked but there's no problem in that you can come select and then click on subject so photoshop directly detects the main subject in the whole design that you're going to you are you're trying to create and tries to kind of uh, have it at, at its as it's as, as its own image so maybe what you can do if you just come here and click on the layer mask as you can see you automatically have your image easily with, with the background removed easily. So what you can do now, we're going to try and save this image. So you're going to go file, click on save us, and you're going to go to the desktop, Nick's poster, and you're going to save it as PNG. We can give name this name, Nick, and you're going to save that, and you're through with that. So you've saved, been able to save our image. You've saved it as a PNG because we don't, we really want the image uh, without the background, as it's what you're going to be using. Uh, next thing you're going to do, you need to duplicate this image. If you want to duplicate a uh, layer on uh, Adobe Photoshop, you just right click, click, or click on it. And then what you're going to do is you can come directly and click on duplicate layer. You just can put it at that and uh, you're done. So it's something easy that, that you can do. And what you're going to do there is an easy way. You can just control and J to duplicate an image on Photoshop. So what we need to do now, we want to kind of, kind of convert this image into a black and white image. So we can do just image adjustments. Make sure you sele you've selected your image. We can hide this. You can always click on this to hide an image on Adobe Photoshop. You just come to image and then we're going to come to adjustments and then we're going to come to black and white. And as you can see, if we drag it this a bit outside, you can see the image has its color changed. So you can click on darker 
and then you can maybe kind of play around with these hue and saturation adjustments then you click on ok and then you're going to go file save us and you're going to save these as you go to our desktop again nix poster select png and then you're going to say nick bw to stand for black and white and then you're going to click on save and click on ok so we have, we have uh, the image in two formats it's a png one is colored one is black and white you don't really have to don't worry about the size the size doesn't matter it actually makes your image more appealing so the next thing you're going to go you're going to do is go to adobe illustrator open adobe illustrator on your computer so here's the logo that you're going to be using for nick's party uh, it's the name is the economic reforms party it's just a dummy party that we've created for this tutorial so you're going to come cl click on file new and then you're going to click on maybe you can you can you have all the different uh, kind of sizes you have on uh, adobe illustrator you can select any kind of uh, size that you want maybe you can select a4 or you can select a3 we're going to select that maybe you can change the dimensions to centimeters and click on create so we've been able to create something like that and currently it's set as cmyk cmyk is a default color that is a color kind of color mode that appears on adobe illustrator that is used for when you want to create like maybe documents we you, you don't really have to use this you can have it in uh, in rgb you can just come you file you just come to your file come to document color mode select cmyk as uh, red sorry as uh, the rgb sorry and then the next thing you're going to do you're going to come uh you're going to place next image here so you're going to click on file you're going to click on open we go to our desktop next poster select this image first and then click on open and it says this is next image you can drag it you can opt to drag it to your artboard and you just drop it at that point at the same time you can just come select it control and x to cut and then you come to control and v to paste so you have next image while input so once th we are going to import the second image, you're going to import it in another different kind of way. So you're going to click on file and click on place. And then you're going to select this image, Nick BW and place. So you're just going to come and draw something like this and you're going to place Nick's image. Uh, what you're going to do, you're going to do something very simple. We're going to, going to go to back to our brief and then you're going to be trying to see uh, the colors that you, you've been advised to use. So there's this and this color. So you're going to select them copy them I'm going to go to adobe illustrator and uh, we're going to use the text tool the text the shortcut for the text tool is t the type tool and you're going to paste that Control and v to paste the colors that you're going to be using and then we need to do like we're just going to draw some simple rectangles so the first rectangle should have this first color we select this color copy come to this one double click inside it and then you're going to come to this part you're going to fill that code that you've pasted click ok and as you can see that color has been filled then we can duplicate these you can just hold alt or the option key on your keyboard then drag this to your left come again select this image uh, the the text sorry and then you're going to come to these the second rectangle double click paste click ok and you're done so you have the two default colors that you're going to be using for your design so one thing we're going to be using we're going to be doing is that uh, we're going to create kind of create a very nice background just is a, is a very it's a minimalist poster so it doesn't have to be that it doesn't have doesn't have quite a number of detail so uh this is the first background but you don't really need this one as a background so we're going to have this as a background so it's easy you just need to select this and come pick your eyedropper tool then come select that color and uh, as you can see you're done then after you're done with that click on the on the object come to your object click on lock lock selection shortcut for that is control and two and uh, you can easily see that you know you don't really have to worry about this moving next thing you're going to drag this image you're going to drag it at the moment it's appearing at the back you're going to right click you're going to click on arrange and click on bring to front and you're going to kind of expand this uh in the version i'm using on adobe illustrator i hold shift and alt to expand the image to scale it to a larger size because you want these to appear a bit larger as compared to the other image so we have these we have that we just need to add to that point so one thing with the adobe illustrator is that currently it's the image is actually uh, outside the borders 
So we can really do a clip mask. To do a clip mask on uh, Adobe Illustrator, you draw a shape on top of the object that you want to clip mask and you just click, click, click mask. So we're going to click on the rectangle tool. Come, draw a simple rectangle. And when you're done, we're just going to click on the, the this tool, the selection tool, and then you're going to come and select the image and select the shape that you've drawn and right click on your mouse and click on make a clipping mask. And as you can see, your image has been clipped. So one thing you can do now is we want to reduce the opacity of the image. Just come to our left hand side select click on this arrow then drop down the opacity and as you can see your image is well set so we need to do what you need to do now click on the image lock it you can come to object come to lock selection and you've locked your image easily next thing we're going to be bringing in nick's image so you can bring it in to that point uh, we're going to click on arrange bring to front and as you can see the image is at the front and it's quite kind kind of has a very nice detail so maybe you can just do a simple expansion, make the image larger. Go back to the same process that you've done. What you're going to do, select our rectangle tool. Come, draw our rectangle of our next image. And then after we are through with that, currently does it have any fill? So what you do, we go back, we go to this hand side. On your right hand side, select any kind of fill and you're through with that. And then click on select the image, select the rectangle, right click make clipping mask and your image automatically becomes selected so now we've, we've, we are we've, we're actually perfect and heading somewhere so we've done with that now we need to add the text so we have text there you can just we're going to attach a folder with the logo we're going to drag this logo select it just select it copy Control and c come to our design Control and v to paste it and then you're going to resize the logo holding shift and alt and uh, as you can see, we've done something nice, very easy. Maybe we can change the color. We don't really need to have it in this color. We're going to change the color. We can put it as black. And we can still come and put this as black. It kind of looks nice. So we need to lock this image to prevent distortion. Control and 2. Or come to object. Then you come lock. Lock selection. And you've locked your selection. So we need to make this a bit visible. So we just expand it in that way and uh, we're going to move it to have it in that kind of a manner and as you can see we've been able to create that uh, we can still move it to this side any side that you prefer it all depends on you so we have that nix party logo you can still have it in a different color we can have it in this color select the selection pick the eyedropper tool the shortcut for that is i and select the color so you're done with that Next thing, we're going to be adding next details. We come, select rectangle tool, and we're going to draw a simple rectangle over this, and then we're done. So we've just created a simple rectangle. So what you're going to do now, we're going to go to our text. We're going to pick up the name. The name is Nick Samal. We can just select it, Nick Samal. Then come to pick the type tool. So just click on any one the key on the on your uh, workspace and you're able to paste your text easily so that's the name first so we're going to be using a font by the name of poppins poppins is available on the website google fonts it's a common font we can select that and we can have that we can reduce the size and after we reduce this just simply reduce the size and uh, next thing we can do is uh, we can have a kind of a format a very nice format you can just select this you can select the first word the uh, nick and have it in, in form of a just let's give it extra bold just to have a kind of a definitive uh, difference in all these then uh, maybe you want to do what we want to do is create outlines from this so what you need to do convert this as an object we first duplicate this on our workspace right click on it create outlines and then make it smaller holding shift and alt to make sure that it's uniform and uh, we can change this to can we can have it uh, we can give this color you can not this color you can have it at that we can just have it at that to see how it comes out ah, and it's kind of nice so we, then next thing we come select our text and we are through with that click on the type tool click on anywhere on your workspace and you're able to paste your text so when you're done with that you can reduce the font size on your using on your right hand side you can just reduce it easily and as you can see 
you've created something nice you can just expand this to make it a bit bigger and then we change this to color white and it's as easy as that then the next thing you need to do we're going to add the slogan for well, the slogan actually we're going to have this as 2024 membership come back to adobe illustrator and you're going to come and click on the type tool click on your workspace and paste the statement the simple statement that we have and uh, maybe you can have these in form you can just change the bold the, you can just have it as a semi bold or maybe just give it a bold and uh, the spacing we can give it a spacing of uh, maybe 200 let's see how it looks like maybe we can just give it a spacing of uh, 120 and uh, we are good to go so with that maybe you can come just draw a rectangle over it and when you draw a simple rectangle we're going to place this color we're going to select that color and then we can just send this to the back so we just do that then we come and select the text change the color and we can see we've created something like that the next thing you're going to do we're going to add the slogan at the bottom so the slogan we can come select um win-win partnership control copy come to your illustrator file then select anyone your workspace paste that add the maybe we can just add some few this, this. then paste the slogan we can change the font and have it in a different kind of a font and we can just having something uh, we can have something like that we can change this to color white and we have something like that so as you can see we've created something very nice very simple and doesn't have to have a lot of uh, detail yeah, maybe some people like to create these ambiguous kind of designs that have all this kind of content that but it doesn't really matter so for this case we've been able to create a very simple simple kind of a political poster that can be used for political branding and uh, as you can see we've done something nice if uh, this tutorial has been helpful to you please consider subscribing maybe before you do that we need to save our file so you click on file save us you go to the desktop on our Adobe Illustrator project file folder and then you can say nix poster and then you click on enter and save maybe we can uh, just kind of export it in a different kind of a format that is when you're using Adobe Illustrator you can do something very simple as it saves up so what you need to do we're going to come file export exporters and then you're going to click use artboards export as a png then click on ok we can still save it as a pdf because it's one file then you click on pdf file save us and maybe if you want to use it for just social media or maybe try to share it online you can save it as a small file size so that you can enjoy and as you try and uh, share the file to maybe all the people that you're going to be sharing the file to so next thing we open we can come and try and view the project itself and as you can see let's open the pdf and it's kind of a nice thing actually you can come and open the, the png and as you can see the image has been nice and it's a very simple simple poster minimalistic doesn't have so much content so if this tutorial has been helpful subscribe to our channel and we continue we promise to continue blessing your channel or your or your view with very nice content and see you next time thank you